All right, so today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. It's been a few years since I've checked out any like pop or like mainstream stuff on the channel. And I kind of wanted to get back into a little bit of that stuff, you know what I mean? And I thought I would start with Post Malone because I've heard every album by him. Uh, I've heard every song by him multiple times, so I'm very familiar with everything he's made. And yeah, I just thought this would be a good place to start. Originally, I was thinking about doing Ariana Grande's new album as well as this album in the same video. Um, but I put a poll up and everyone said for the most part that they wanted this one done by itself so i know there's a deluxe version of this but i'm just gonna do the og i've never heard anything off of this album not a single single wait no i've heard chemical but only on the radio I, i've never actually listened to it like sat down and listened to it with headphones or anything um i just kind of remember the chorus that's all and i love this artwork man it has that summer vibe going on i really like that and over the last like year i've been seeing videos of him just grooving out on stage like just going off just smoking and drinking and shit but last night i watched a little bit of a concert that he did like last week and um he does it through the whole show he's just grooving out for the whole show i only listened to a couple songs that i already knew so i wouldn't you know spoil this album but a couple of the songs like rockstar actually had this rock remix with guitars and he had this like rough um like screaming vocal it was really sick i had no idea he did that like i've always known that he's very talented outside of his genre and he likes heavier music like how he auditioned to be the guitar player for crown the empire before he was famous that was really cool and i found that out i was actually thinking about taking a couple shots for this video but i have to pick someone up from work in a couple hours so i'm gonna do the responsible thing and just smoke a fuck ton of weed make sure to subscribe let me know if i should continue kind of exploring some more mainstream stuff that has come out recently um and yeah let's get into this shit so yeah besides for chemical i have no idea what to expect from this album i'm hoping it kind of leans into that summary vibe that the album art has i think i heard something about him playing some guitar throughout this album um i really haven't heard much about this album though because 12 karat toothache i enjoyed overall but it's probably my least favorite release from him there's just a couple songs that didn't hit it for me but it's a, it's overall a very sad emotional album so i'm kind of hoping this brings back some of the more uh, good vibes and less of the sad vibes i have enough sad vibes dude like way too much man i think that's him playing the acoustic guitar hanging on something Anything Just like a shimmer of light Oh, how the sword fell The vocal production is incredible I said you're really something Everything To me In that cold So hold me You like me so much Cause I don't like myself Man, these lyrics I don't understand Why you like me so much Wish I was someone else. Starting it off like they did the He did the last album You say seems... you got a million reasons But I can't think of one Oh, this is it's very different for you. For posting for miles around Cause you're really something Everything To me And I'm cold So hold me Closer, baby I don't understand Why you like me so much Cause I don't like I don't understand how you like me so much. Really stripped back. Was someone else. Alright, starting it off really stripped back. Emotional, relatable. Very stripped back. That was very different instrumentally. Give me something. I can't feel. Oh. I can't feel. I can't feel. Feet off the coast of Give me something. No reservation, pull a 20D. Give me something. 
This is weird. Both of these songs kind of feel like intros. Both of them start very stripped back, and then at the end, all of the layers come together. Um, and yeah, the, both of these kind of feel like intros. I think the use of the church choir was very well done. Um, some of the mix kind of felt distorted during the chorus. I don't know if that was on purpose or not, but it felt kind of weird, at least with these headphones. So very experimental. Like Hollywood's Bleeding was pretty experimental. And then with 12 Carat Toothache, it was more stripped back. Um, but he's kind of going in more of a, um, a pop direction than in a rap direction in the last couple albums. But on this one so far, it's very experimental. That might have something to do with, uh, with mushrooms. <laughs> like, I'm hearing elements of 60s psychedelic music and 90s grunge. Like, I'm hearing those two things mixing with... Um, like modern rap vocals. So there's some country influence there. I don't know, this is very exciting to hear from a really big mainstream artist, something this experimental. But so far, I don't think I would listen to either of these songs very often. Um, there's nothing really pulling me in for another listen except for how different it is. So we're gonna have to keep listening because right now I can't really figure out what the album's trying to do. Because so far it feels like these two songs were kind of like a two-part opener for the album. Um, that's kind of what it feels like right now. But yeah, let's keep listening for sure because this got me very curious. Yeah, I don't recognize it. I only know the hook. Is that the chorus? Because I don't recognize that at all. Yeah, it's just really good vibes.
was a great bridge. That was like really nostalgic. Dude, that that that's one of the best bridges I've heard out of Post Malone. That was beautiful. Like brought me back to 2017. The song title is one that made me curious. I love the instrumental for this. I really do. Oh, yes. Is it going to transition? Or is it just some... This one had a great vibe to it. Some of the lyrics were iffy on for me. Um... This, this album is great instrumental. Is easy and who put on the comet dogs? That's a nice tile floor. Wish I got to know you more. Who am I talking to? Nobody take me outside. I'm a little too high. Paid a little too much for the time of my life. When money ain't a problem, everyone's lying. Even when I tell myself that I don't want to sober up, the sun is killing. I'm loving the instruments on this album, man. Morning. That's that's my second favorite, I think. Oh shit, this might be one of my favorites right now. This instrumental keeps doing that. This might be my favorite already.
feel like I'm floating, dude. This has that 80s vibe to it. Like synth pop, 80s, like, yeah. There was some guitar. Fuck, that had everything in it. These last two songs, man. Morning and Too Cool to Die. Is it Christmas time? Shit. Ooh, really 80s. That was so 80s. On the right, it's on the here. I couldn't see it coming. There ain't no point in running. I'll even cut off all my hair and change Real my clothes. Some might say I made a bad decision. Said you could have my heart. If I'm going around, just start you so. There's a song that does that. This album's reminding me of other songs, I just can't think of them. From a good day, put on some Joe to see getting loose. I pump her to Coochie, I'm Bobby Boucher. Maybe that's why they put up with all my bullshit. And I bought a new belly without a roof. Eh? In LA, they tell me my truck is stupid. Doing car sick donuts, man, I'm a nuisance. I live my prince with the revolutions. Get hammered all alone, but don't feel bad for me. So for drinks, Patron, so call a cab for me, and I leave. Fuck me up, it's only a body. Oh. oh, lyrics, Jesus Christ. That thing is I uh, can relate. Dude, I just feel like I'm floating through space right now. What are you talking about a donkey? Yeah, there hasn't been a miss so far on this album, man. 
especially Chemical Onwards. The synth work on this album. could have ended better i feel like that could have gone on a little longer at the end but oh wow uh, that was weird what was that uh, all right speedometer fucking robot song fucking mr crafts that summer vibe though i feel like harry styles is about to sing that's <laughs> that's the vibe I got right now. short though it didn't if, if that was like a minute longer i think it would get a little too much but yeah great vibe there's like no rapping on this album like at all talk too much dream too Show to me. 
shit. <laughs> I thought it was just gonna be another all acoustic. Till I turn green. Please don't leave. Those MIDI strings. I'm assuming they're MIDI. They might not. Special to me. They remind me of uh, like Minutes to Midnight by Linkin Park. It's essential to me. This song kind of gave some Muse vibes, I'm not gonna lie, like Second Law, like Explorers, that song, with the bass. That was a beautiful song. I thought, I'm gonna be honest, it started and I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna like this, if this whole three and a half minute song is just acoustic, you know what I mean? Like, I'm sure it would be beautiful, but damn. All these songs are kind of surprising me. Each one's very different too. Yeah, it takes shots uh, with water. That's missing by that's something else. Man. I can't drink this by myself. Sit with me, babe. It's like I can't afford a chase here. <laughs> Take me home, don't shut me out, it's easier to leave me down here on the ground. Take me home, baby I'm fucked up now. They ran out of lemonade, so I shot that vodka straight anyway. That one got me a little bit um, choked up, I'm not gonna lie. Like overall, song-wise, that one wasn't my favorite or anything on the album, but yeah, that one that one really got me choked up a bit there. Bah, anyway. Can we talk about that little scream that he did at the end of that last song? He just needs to give in and make a heavy album. Do you know how insane that would be? Or at least collaborate with like, Bring Me The Horizon or something like that. Like some, he's gotta do something. Like I know he, he's got talent for that. I 
these lyrics. <laughs> Sounds epic though. Mm. Alright, this ending slaps. Hmm. That one was interesting. I don't know how to feel about that one. Like I liked it overall. Some of the lyrics. That was that was my only problem. But it went hard though, like it really did. Ooh, okay. It's been a while since I burned in sun. I use my light for a pack of twenty. I don't know where to fuck my Bible. That was a beautiful song. There's no reason for me not to to give that a heart. So I'm just, I'm just gonna give it a heart. Drove by your house and no test. It was overgrown. Wait, this is the least listened to song. Flowers are all dead. Whew, okay. If I started talking, I would have cried. I think the only reason this doesn't have like 10 million more plays than it does is that people just want to cry when they hear it. Like there's no other emotion. That was just really sad. Said I should smile more. Let's see how this, uh, how he ends this. But 
Pretend I didn't need your voice But maybe I was taking notes Keep that in mind Hey, say you hate me Ha ha I laugh it all Your mind is made I just like the whole album. <laughs> That was one of the best songs on the album. So that was a really surprising album. That was really unique. I can hear influences from a ton of different genres, a ton of different bands, specific songs. So yeah, this is very unique, very different, especially for Post Malone, but he seems to change it up a lot each album, which I really love. The only songs that I'm kind of iffy with are the first two songs. I like something real more than the first one, if I remember correctly. Uh, Nova Candy, I really liked the instrumental for it. And overall, I like the song. Um, probably my least favorite out of the first nine. But then the other ones that it was kind of... Texas T, I thought I was going to like it a lot more based on how powerful and intense and dark that instrumental started out with. Um, so I had maybe a little bit of high hopes for it and it didn't deliver strongly in the lyric area. Um, but the ending of the song was great lyrically as well, and the flow was really good. And overall, I think I like the song. Buyer Beware as well. Buyer Be Well. Buyer Beware as well. It kind of... Buyer Be Well also... Fucking ass. Buyer Beware had all the elements that I like. It sounded a little generic, I think, compared to the rest of them, I think was my only thing with it. I don't fully remember. I'm gonna have to listen to this album a couple times. This is just my first listen and there's 17 songs, so they're kind of mixing up in my head right now. Landmine had that like country influence, southern influence, um, really good atmosphere in that song. Green Thumb, 
the least listened to song on the album, but I think it had the most emotional impact on me personally. Um, that and Enough is Enough, that, that was just, oh my god. Wasn't a super big fan of Enough is Enough's instrumental, but the lyrics were just holy shit. In the vocal delivery, you could just hear it in his voice. And I'm gonna give Laugh It Off a like, because that was one of my favorites of the album. There was just a ton of aggressive distortion at the end there. Um, I was hoping he might put a little bit of a scream in there, because we heard a scream uh, earlier in the album. I think it was Hold My Breath, which I wasn't expecting at all in that song, and I was expecting it in this song, but it wasn't there. Um, but the build-up still was like really, really intense, and it didn't really need a scream, to be honest. I just really wanted him to make a heavy album. But anyway, man, I really liked that. I think I liked this album. I definitely liked this album more than 12 Carat Toothache. Definitely let me know your favorite songs down in the comments, and let me know what you think of this album compared to the rest of his albums, because I'm sure a lot of like the people that really love his rap stuff um, probably didn't like this quite as much. I just happen to love a fuck ton of genres, so it was not hard for me to get into this you know what i mean and i really wanted some summary shit and this really delivered on that too but yeah besides for that man just make sure to subscribe because we're almost to 6,000 subscribers check out my community tab i have a poll up right now with ariana grande on there if you want to vote for that um and yeah that's all take it easy